What is up YouTube? Welcome back to another Escape from Tarkov video. I'm Khan and as always this is the show Market Mondays where I show you guys what to sell at what times so that you guys know what's going on on the market throughout the wipe in Escape from Tarkov. Uh, sorry about my voice. I lost it over the weekend but I stream on Twitch. Uh, all my links are down below. I have a giveaway for an EOD account going on right now. You can enter that down below and without further ado let's get straight into it. So today, a few fluctuations. CPU fans are still up 20k. We're going to keep this one short. I want to kind of fly through this and just let you guys know what's gone up, what's gone down. Uh, so 20k CPU fans still up there. Sometimes they even go a little bit higher if you catch them at a good time. But currently, around 20k to 30k, you can get CPU fans sold for. The EOTech EXPS3 Hall graphics site. Now this beige EOTech. You can find it in Kiba. You can also find it on certain weapons that are found in raid in Kiba. Uh, you can sell this for like 150k. There's none on the flea market right now, so if you guys do find it, make sure to get that sold. Graphics cards. Now, graphics cards are up. Now, I spoke in another video how I think that graphics cards would go to a million. I want to retract that statement because uh, Basically, I don't think graphics cards are going to go much higher than 500,000. So if you have a bunch of graphics cards and you want to get rid of them, go ahead and sell them. Because right now, 430, we may see a little bit of a price increase, but I don't think they're going to go that much higher. Mainly because of all the Bitcoin nerfs and stuff like that. But Bitcoin is actually going up slightly. So I sold a Bitcoin uh, yesterday for about 230K. So Bitcoin is going up slightly, which means that graphics cards may go up a little bit as well, but I don't think they're going to hit a million. The M14 UTG 4-point locking deluxe mount. Now you can see some silly people sometimes sell them really low, 10K, but this is it's going to be sold immediately. 110,000 on the flea mainly because you need one of these for one of the M1A gunsmith requirements and you don't get it until you get mechanic and peacekeeper up there in the trader level so 110k if you find one of those like I said you can find a lot of these attachments in Kiba magnets magnets are doing all right still okay but a small drop from what they were they were about 20,000 but now they're dropped down to like 14k i still think it's worth picking up but keep an eye on those because they may not stay above 10k for long and once they're under 10k it's just not even worth grabbing it coffee coffee sits around 20,000 and it's still sitting there it's doing pretty good 20k for Majika coffee and if you grab this coffee and sell it it's a good find it's only a one slot item for 20k definitely worth picking up mcbs also worth picking up you can find these a lot on reserve 62,000 to 65,000 i find them for and yeah it's a it's a good sell only a one slot item they also sell the therapist pretty well so if you find it and you put it in your gamma and you found it in, and you lose its find and raid status you can still sell it to therapist for a decent amount Military power filters, 70,000. Not much to say there, but it's doing pretty good. I wonder what this barter is for. They want a rival's armband for a military power filter. Good luck, some Mo Kim C. Uh, that's probably not going to happen, but it's a 70,000 ruble part for just one slot item, so definitely worth picking up. Now, paracords are actually dropping. So, paracords, we were seeing them around like 80 or 90k. So, if you guys are trying to get your sick cases up, it's not actually a bad idea to start buying paracords at the moment, especially if they're at like their 55,000, 59,000. They will continue to drop, but paracords, not that bad right now. So, if you're trying to do that sick case uh, barter with Jaeger, it's probably a decent time to do it. It's better than paying 90k for all of them. Power supply units are down. So right now they used to be about 10k a slot. They're at about 32,000 now, 34,000 give or take. So I don't think power supply units are worth it, especially for the weight and uh, just for the four slot item. I don't think it's really worth it. Pressure gauges still doing pretty good, 55k, 56k. Um, they're selling pretty well. You need them in your hideout for the booze generator. So people are still buying them and if you find one of them for a two slot item it's about 27,000 a slot so it's not too bad saline solution also still sitting at around 30k pretty good pretty solid I would definitely continue to pick these up you need them for some med station stuff um, 
But saline, definitely a pickup item, definitely worth picking up and definitely worth selling. Sodium bicarbonate, also going pretty high right now. 38k this might just be because somebody bought a bunch of them but around 38k to 40k at the moment so if you guys hop on here quick and you got some sodium go ahead and sell it 42k one slot item not very hard to find either so if you want to make a little bit of money these are found in hidden stashes any food area uh customs in um fortress places like that so uh, that's basically it for today, guys. Thank you guys for tuning into another Market Monday. I know it's Tuesday, but I had a rough weekend. A bunch of stuff happened, so I had to take yesterday off. But I will see you guys over on Twitch. I'll be streaming right after this video goes up, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace, people.